Well, you know what time it is. Okay, every single solitary Wednesday morning, right here, <laughs> right here, right now, is the Winning on Wednesday segment of the morning show. And I love this segment. I love it, I love it, I love it, because I get to meet so many great people. And one of the greatest persons, is people, greatest persons, people, what, whatever, one of the greatest guys that I've ever met is a gentleman by the name of Juan Videz. And I have never met anybody that has been so gracious and caring about other people rather than himself. And he has given me, he's such a, first off, as a human being, he's an amazing person, all right? As a business person, he is knowledgeable. And uh, I know he's he's probably like blushing right now and going, you know, talk about someone else, you know, but, you know, because that's the way he is. He's just a, a great guy. Well, he's formed this group called Winning on Wednesdays. And then, like I told you before, every Wednesday uh, at 11 o'clock, you can join the Zoom meeting for Winning on Wednesdays. And, um, yeah, and it's just a bunch of people that get together and network and make friends and do business. And it's just, it's networking on your own terms. You know what I'm saying? It's because you can do it right from wherever you are. We have people from all over the world, Israel, Germany. You know, I've seen people from... I think we had somebody from Spain on there as well. But I want to welcome to the show Juan Vidas. Good morning, Juan. Good morning. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you. You're too kind. I try. I do try. But you are you are you are, you are great. And so. thank you again for 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 allowing me this opportunity and and you know to also help other people as well to <clears throat> get to the world to know who they are. Uh, you know, and 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 especially this time of day, you know, where we can use any kind of help that we can use and need. This was the great platform, and thank you so much for this opportunity, and thank you so much for helping our members at Winning on Wednesday. And uh, today we have uh, Patty Scallion. Italian, Absolutely, right? we do. To introduce her. And Patty is a joy promoter. She is health and wellness mentor. She helps you create optimal living and income on your terms, and it's called Synerd synergistic health and i want to tell you about her okay she's been in the alternative healthcare field for 20 years she's owned a holistic wellness center for 10 years her passion is to help people live younger wow i like that one live younger and longer through cellular health and creating a lifestyle that promotes optimal health age reversal and athletic performance she says there is not a health challenge out there that we together can't address and improve she believes we have to take responsibility for our health by making correct choices and investing in our well-being the alternative is to pay for sick care. She says she's also an advocate of taking leaps of faith in all areas of their lives and her lives and our lives. And her first career was in banking. She was a branch manager and officer of a bank, and she realized that she had that entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial, I love that word, blood. And she took a different path into the health world, and now she has loved every minute of it. And I want to welcome to the show Patty Scallon. And Patty, good morning. Well, good morning. Thank you for having me. This is exciting to be here. You know what, Patty? I'm excited to have you because I can use some age reversal. <laughs> okay. All right. I look well, in. It, I look it's in. Out there. I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, "Who is that?" You know what happened to the 21 year old? No, seriously. But so, Patty, take me back to the early days. I, I gave a little bit of your bio and everything like that. But you're in banking, and all of a sudden, what happens? All of a sudden, you get hit by that entrepreneurial spirit. So take us to that point in your life, if you would. Well, actually, what happened is I stopped to raise my baby. Oh, okay. And then um, once I got back into the work field, I knew that I didn't want to be behind a desk any longer. Like, that just, I'm really a people person. And although that did allow me to speak with people, I'm, you know, I'm a people person, I'm a nurturer. And I just found myself, I had taken a part-time job with a, a company called Boron, which is homeopathic remedy. And that started my journey into um, alternative health. And I just found my home there. You know, it was, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of pharmaceuticals. I do believe that there are times when they're necessary, so, you know, don't get me wrong. But I learned so quickly that there's so much out there to enhance our life to make us feel better and we don't have to depend on those things so it's been it's been a real joy to learn all of these things i when i do work with my uh, customers i actually work with them with these pillars of health if we were to pay attention to those pillars of health we wouldn't need all those pharmaceuticals you th all right so in other words basically 
holistic health and other like right now for instance there's a lot of people out there dealing with let's say high blood pressure okay and uh, they're on Correct. and that me being one of them all right and it's like we we are regulated every day to to take those three little pills that are supposed to you know do what they have to do to lower our blood pressure but when taking those pills i'm going to talk from my own personal experience it's uh it it, it doesn't make me feel 100% so is there something with regards to holistic for what you do? Let's say, for instance, you know, you say not with those pharmaceuticals. So is there something that someone with that type of problem can do other than being relying on taking medication every day, Patty? Absolutely. Um, you know, when any medication that we take, there are side effects. And I think that people blindly take medication because their doctor gives it to them. And they figure, oh, well, the doctor knows best. He knows best, yes, we need to get our, our blood pressure down, but we don't need that medication. I have many, many customers that no longer take that. And see, I think that sometimes there's a misconception like that blood pressure, high blood pressure causes cardiovascular disease. No, it doesn't. It's a symptom of it. So we've got to get our bodies back into that place of homeostasis. And, you know, the cutting edge technology that I work with, the product that I work with, works to bring your body into that homeostasis. It's to get your cells signaling so that your body does the right thing, so that your body works to heal itself. Because I believe that God made our bodies to heal themselves. But we have to take responsibility. We have to do what's right. So and, and that's the long answer. The short answer is yes, we do. You know, um, I, we can get that blood pressure down naturally. Absolutely. Juan, what do you want to say? <laughs> you out there, Juan? I was going to say, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you know, as, we, as, as you know, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm still a kid compared to you guys. I'm 44, and I've noticed that, you know, as you get older, you heal. It, 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 it doesn't, you don't heal as quickly as you used to. And it takes time to heal, you know, and, um, and, and probably, you know, Patty, I know you can talk about that, too, about healing and stuff. Uh, you know, as, as your body gets older, we lose, you know, uh, the potential of healing more, right? Is that? That's exactly I mean, right. That's... And that's what, yeah. So um, the product that I use is actually native to the body, okay? It's it redox molecules. They're already in our body, but as we age, we don't produce as many of them. The mitochondria doesn't fire like it used to fire. So what my product is, is actually putting that back into your system so that you do start to heal like you did where you, when you were younger. Or, you know, I mean, Juan and I know each other personally. Um, I am 69 years old. I feel like I'm in my 40s. I take no medication. She doesn't look, does she doesn't look her age, by the way. No, not at all. She not does not look her age. She looks like she's 40. She just gave me, she just gave yeah. me, she just gave me my, my, that's what I'm going to tell everybody from now on when they say what's going on. I'm going to tell them my mitochondria is not firing the way it used to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. But that's really true, you know? You know? But yeah. the thing is, is when, I mean, I really walk my talk. And so, as yeah. I said, my husband and I, we don't take any medication, and we kayak, and we bike, and we boat. We do all these things. We don't have that inflammation in our bodies. And let me just say that the reason I got involved six years ago was because my husband was sick. He had, um, we found out, he had type 2 diabetes. We were able to reverse that, and to this day, he never took medication for that. Really? Well, that's pretty, like... Yeah, that's pretty exciting. It is. So that's how I end. Yeah, that's how I ended it, up getting involved with this. But because it's cellular, it really doesn't matter what the health challenge is. It can be um, chronic. It can be acute. It can be something small. It can be something big. The impact is huge. You know, you talk about cellular. You talk about being cellular, and I, and it, if I'm on the right path here for what I'm going to say. Even with the COVID and uh, and what's going on, a lot of things of what they're talking about is uh, like uh, being able to coat the cell or to be able to stop the cell from from you know from being attacked, so to speak. And um, it's exactly. and and basically um, m modern day science, as what I'm and I'm not familiar with her product or anything like that. And we're going to get into that in just a second. But the bottom line is modern day science. That's um, what they that's what they're promoting. You know, and one of the things that's funny, because one of the things, and it hit me this morning, actually, is one of the things that's been coming over the news. And, um, and you know, a lot of times when I do the news or I'm talking about a story, I'm, I'm 
doing it and I'm reading it and sometimes it doesn't sink in until a day or two after. And one of the things that they're talking about is, is the pursuit of happiness. Okay. And, uh, they're saying that a lot of us out there seeking, uh, you know, constantly seeking the, you know, we're looking for the happiness and we're just constantly going about our day on a daily basis and living our lives the way lives have been lived uh, over the years. We're not taking into consideration, uh, where we're at right at this moment and the tools that we have to be able to, uh, to accept where we are right now and to be happy where we are. And I think some of the things that Patty's talking about being joy, being health and being well, Health, all right, is exactly that. And, and what she's describing, look, she has her husband that had diabetes, and now they're able to do all these different things together. They are enjoying life. How many of you out there, including myself, how many of us out there, all right, live each day, day by day, and we're not happy, and we're not healthy, and we're not, you know, and we're just living that, boom, 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 you know, looking forward to, you know, the ultimate end, <laughs> you know, and, and here comes Patty who says, you don't have to live that way. You know, you can you can turn things around even at even at my age, sixty one, even at you know Juan's young age of you know forty one, whatever 44. it is, forty four. Oh, 44. you're older than I thought. Am I on the right path here? Am I talking? Am I hitting things right? Is this what it is, yeah, Patty? Yeah, absolutely. I think that you know it's key to find something that you're excited about, and clearly I'm excited about this. But the the other thing we have to understand is. Today, our food sources are not what they used to be. Our soil is not what they used to be. When you're not getting the vitamins, minerals, micronutrients that you need, you kind of can slump very easily into depression, anxiety. Like depression is a gut issue. You know, people want to very quickly jump on that medication. But you know what? Give me a call. Let's work on getting your gut healthy, and you're going to see you won't need that. You're going to have the energy to engage in life. You're going to want to have some fun. Like it's a, it is a mind-body connection. So you're absolutely right. But I do think the key is, is you know, it's funny. Like I said, at my age, I'm still, I'm still working my dream. That's pretty exciting. You know, there are people that are my age and literally are just sitting in their living room, you know, doing not much of anything. But I'm here to change the world one person at a time absolutely and you know what it is is and you're right what happens like by three o'clock in the afternoon sometimes all of a sudden i'm like oh, i got re i get really tired you know and then i realize well right. you know you had that coffee you had that you know you had that egg sandwich you, you know you ate you know you had you know you just went through the day <laughs> not really i i'm guilty of not eating healthy all right and when i do that it it's not a pick-me-up it's a take-me-down you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what right. uh, that's what right. happens. Well, a lot and, of... and you need to know what the right thing to eat at that moment is. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. Right. So we need to talk. It sounds like uh -oh. we, <laughs> we do. So so if I come to you, Patty, if I come to you and I and you see this wreck of a man, <laughs> right? No, if, yes. if I, I'm actually yes. I'm actually 61 years old. I just turned 61 last November, and I and a lot of people tell me, you know, oh, you don't look 61, and you're pretty you know, energetic and everything like that. I try. But if I come to you and I say, okay, I'm putting myself into your hands, where do you, where do we go from there? Mm -hmm. What would happen? I'm, I'm trying to give my listeners an understanding of exactly, you know, when they approach you, what they can expect. Sure. So for me, obviously, I would explain to you the product that I work with, my, my, my you know, my flagship product. That is that cellular communication product. That's right out of the gate. But I also, I coach my people on the pillars of health. You need to be getting the correct nutrients. And you're not getting, even if you're a clean eater, which I am, you still need to supplement. And, you know, I'm so excited. We have some new products coming out next month. And there's one that, because of what you said, man, we can get that 3 o'clock with no calories. And you'll be just excited for the rest of your day. Wow. But the key is... Yeah, the key is is to help people understand that, you know, like if you have a deficiency in your micronutrients, your vitamins, your micronutrients, then you're going to have excess hunger. It's going to make you hungrier because our bodies crave nutrients. And if we're not giving it to them, then we're going to continue to crave. So then we keep eating that junk or grabbing that bagel or grabbing a couple of cookies where if you have the proper nutrients, you don't have those cravings. You really don't. You know, I mean, there's, there's so much that I could share with you, but, I mean, obviously we don't have the time right. to do that. 
but um, it's just, uh, it, it's an exciting thing because I know I can help people feel better. Are you going to I know I can help them. Go ahead. Are you going to take away my cookies? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Go ahead. You can occasionally have them, but let's get the good things in your body first and then see if you're really craving them. I like cookies. <laughs> you know, no, I'm uh, kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. Well, I'm kidding. Okay. Go ahead. Now, I'm not saying you can't have cookies. Right. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not really, I don't rule with I know what you're saying. Fist. I'm kidding. I'm just I, My thing is, is if 80% of the time you do what's right, then you've got a 20% to play around right. a little bit. Then How about that? Does I'll that give help? you. I will give you 80% right and 20% of crap. <laughs> All right, that's the bottom line. Well, well, not quite. Not quite crap. You can. You can still eat. You. You know, instead of cookies, how about dark chocolate? Okay. I dark like, chocolate is. You know. Dark. Dark yeah. chocolate is really good for you. I, well, go ahead, I gotta, Juan. I gotta say, it, it, it's a lot of a lot has to do with the breaking habits, you know. And I, I'm just telling you from somebody who had just lost 50 pounds. Yep. And one of the tricks that I've learned, it was, uh, it, I mean, it's not a trick, but it's just anything in life is consistency. Right. As long as you do anything Absolutely. consistently enough, you'll see results. Without consistency, there is no result. I see. You know what, Mr. Davides, I've been. I see your TikToks. All right, that you're because we're basically. <laughs> <laughs> we we are actually live on TikTok right now. We got a we got a pretty nice size audience on TikTok. They're listening to us and watching me. And we're also out there on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. I got us broadcasting yeah. on all of the social media sites. But the bottom line is Juan what what Juan has been putting out there. I'm going to say this really quick is Juan is putting out there talking about consistency. This is a man who I value his opinion, all right? And I reached out to him the other day, and I was on the path of one thing, and I and and you have to have somebody that you can go to, like Patty or or even or Juan or anybody out there in your life, okay? And say, like for instance, in in my case, with regards to my health and my age and things like that, Patty is my person of choice that I would go to to talk to now because I know that she's experienced, and you hear what she has to say, okay? And and the bottom line is she has. What it need, what I need, okay. Same thing with with Juan as far as talking about what he's talking about. I went to him and he said, "Hold, oh, hold on a second. Wait, wait one second. And he put and he sometimes we need somebody like Juan and like Patty that's going to take us and turn us in a different direction, even though we never think we need to be turned in a different direction. But once we are turned in that direction, the light comes on and we're like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm having that aha moment like Covey talks about in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He says all of a sudden things that the way you're thinking about life or the way you're thinking about business or the way you're thinking about anything, all of a sudden it turns around and goes, wow, okay, I can I can think of a different way of doing something. And that's what this is about. It's like, you know, we, we live with the pharmaceuticals. We live with the daily foods that we eat and things like that. But Patty's saying, hey, you know what? You can be 61, 69, 70 years old and feel like a 40-year-old. And who wouldn't want to be that way? Who wants to? Who would not want to live longer, you know, or or live a healthy life? You know, you could live. I know people that live. My grandmother lived till ninety five years old. Okay, and she struggled at the last years of her life with health, but most of her life, because of the way she lived her life and the things that she ate and the health, the way that she was healthy, she lived a good life. And that's what it's about. Am I correct, guys? Am I on the you know on the money here? Hundred percent right, yeah. And, and one of the things I say every week, you know, this friends, you know, people do business who they like and they trust. And I got to know Patty, and you know what? To your point, I any any health issues, any health questions, I always ask Patty, and she gives me the answers because you know she's a friend and she's always out there, and friends look out for each other. So much so that I had asked her to uh, help me out in in the group to be part of the. Uh, uh, of the group of the team, which is, she'll be the sergeant of arms of their team, wow. and I uh, look forward to that. And and she and you know the fact is she has a wonderful energy, and she's helpful, and she's brought in a lot of gas into winning on Wednesdays. She's a great connector. She's a great networker. Um, she's a great person overall. And 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 I just want to say thank you, Patty, for for this opportunity, and, and I got to know you as a friend. It's been truly wonderful. Well, I appreciate you, Juan, so much. I, I believe that we both come from that place of service. It's about serving people and what can we do to help somebody else because I believe that we're all connected. So when we help somebody else, we help ourselves. It's just right. about giving back and, um, you know, ma making the world a better place, right? And I think that in WOW, we kind of do that, don't we? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. you know, Patty. And we do that through friends, winning friends. Patty, one of the things, you, <laughs> yep. what you just said, what you just said about helping other people, 
And guys, you can check this out because it's been in the news within the last two days. This thing is about, you know, talking about the pursuit of happiness. And one of the things, the main thing, the main focus of that, okay, is to not be self-centered, okay, to be, uh, to the pursuit of happiness, the way people f can become truly happy is in service and helping others. And exactly what Absolutely. Juan does and what Patty does and what I try to do, you know, when I bring somebody on the air here, okay, um, you know, I joke around, I talk a bit, but the bottom line is the whole concept here, guys, uh, is to bring, my, my dad used to say, hey, Eric, if you just be quiet and listen, all right, that you might learn something that you don't know. And that's the concept here. The concept is, folks, is that we have to sometimes realize is that we might not know everything but there might be somebody out there that can just put something into our heads and all of a sudden it's a whole new ball game and that's what this is about and that's what patty's done for me today because this is my first opportunity to really talk to her and we are going to be talking in the future patty because i need your help i truly do because i'm not kidding around when i tell you at three o'clock i'm like ready to take a nap <laughs> you know and and yeah. that's the thing yep. so patty what do you want to say to everybody out there? Because we're coming to the end here. But what do you want to say to everybody? I call it final thoughts. What do you want to say to everybody out there that's listening right now? That without our health, we truly don't have anything. So, you know, step up, get responsible, talk to the people that you know that can help you get on track. And like Juan said, be willing to, you know, kind of think a little differently. Get like I, I mean, I started intermittent fasting last year. I never thought I could do that. Now it's just part of my life, you know. But we need to take responsibility because, as I, as you said in my intro, if you're not willing to um, spend time on your health, you're going to spend it on your sickness. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, um, you're you're going to end up paying for sick care. So I would say. Your health is just so very important. Don't wait till a crisis happens. Take care of it now. Absolutely. Mr. Vides, what would you like to say to everybody out there? I would say exactly what Patty said, and what I'll add to that is uh, take baby steps, you know, um, small steps to break yeah. those habits because it's not – I know it's not easy to, to, to break those habits. I know we all enjoy those donuts, those bagels, and the breakfast sandwiches and all that stuff, but – and little by little, you know, and, yeah. you know, just maybe take off the bacon, take off the cheese, take off, you know, and then little by little, you start uh, weaning yourself off. And remember, it's a marathon, not a race. And the common mistake that people go and diet to work out or anything they, they do is they, they rush into things. You got to take baby yeah. steps. It's a marathon. And little by little, chip away out of, out of that bad habit. Absolutely. I agree with you guys 100%. Yes. Pat, go ahead, Patty. What do you want to say? Yep, that's. That's so, yeah, that's so true. I think that when people jump in really big, they lose interest pretty quickly. And I would tell you, if you do nothing else, get water in your system. Start your morning with water and make sure you drink half your body weight in ounces. That, a lot of times we feel like we're hungry or we're tired when we're really dehydrated. Absolutely. So one little step is add water to your diet. Absolutely. It's funny you say that because I've been nursing a toothache and I've been going back and forth to the dentist and one of the things I do when, when my mouth starts to hurt a little bit is I'm, I'm, put, I'm drinking a lot of water. And I don't usually drink water, okay? But the amount of water that I put into my body in the last couple of days is probably more than I put in for the last six months. And it's like, it, it does help. It absolutely does. You know, water is the, what do they say, the, uh, the focal. The elixir of it, life. There you go, the elixir of life. Yeah. How does everybody get a hold of you, Patty? How can they, if they want to find out more information or get, you know, talk to you, what do they do? How do they find well, you? Well, I I am on LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, my email is patty at pattyscallon.com, P-A-T-T-I, at P-A-T-T-I-S-C-A-L-L-A-N.com. I do have a website, which is pattyscallon.com, so it's pretty easy. If you have my name, you can find me. Mm -hmm. There you go. And Mr. Vidas, of course, winning on Wednesdays. Uh, let's just give it, com, yeah. go yeah. ahead. Give Wednesday a little. I know you're, you're, we just bought that domain name this week. Say that again. What was it? I interrupted you. What? Winning on Wednesdays.com. There you go. <laughs> Winning on Wednesdays.com. But also, if you guys are out there and you're looking for an amazing website designer, uh, business consultant, uh, Juan Vitas is the guy you want to talk to about. Here's the thing. You're going to see this. This morning, when you go at 11 o'clock, I want everybody to be on Winning on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock this morning, Eastern Standard Time, okay? You bet. You're going to see, yep. okay, this man is about you 
and me. It's not about him. He doesn't, it's not like, you know, there's a lot of times you go to like these networking things and it's all about the person that's putting it together. In this case, the man that's putting it together is putting it together for us, not for him. He's putting it together for him in a sense, but he's doing it for other people. He's in service to other people. He's got an amazing family, beautiful wife, beautiful kids. He's a local Long Islander here. Uh, and he's just, you know, I can't say enough good things about him because he truly is. And I also want to mention Robin, uh, his SEO, okay, because she, it, her and I have spoken in the past, and I have, I got to tell you, it's so nice to meet someone with, you know, with the energy. Robin and I were actually at the same show about a week ago, and we didn't even know we were in the same room together. But again, she said to me yesterday, she says, I wish I would have known because I would have given you a hug. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can hug me next time you see me. So, yeah. all right, guys, so that about wraps She's it up for today. Yeah. Here she is. She really is. Um, guys, right, once guys. again, thank Juan, you. I want to thank you. Patty, uh, you and I are going to be yeah. talking in the future. And uh, for all of you out there, well, listen, hey, just go to the website. One more time, Patty. Give them the website address one more time for you. PattyScallon.com. There you so go. P-A-T-T-I-S-C-A-L-L-A-N.com. And then join us at 11 o'clock on Winning for on Wednesdays. Yep. Winning. That's right. Winning. Yeah. I'm going to give you ready for the DJ. Here's the DJ voice. Ready? Here you go. Winning on Wednesdays every morning. Excuse me. Let me start again. Okay, here we go. Winning on Wednesdays every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Be there. How's that? Pretty good? You got it? Awesome. That, we got that, it. I did that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so thank much. You. All right. Thank thanks, you so yeah. much, guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Patty, Pat. thanks. And I'll be talking to you thank soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Thank you both. Thank you both. Thanks, bye -bye guys. Now. Bye bye. All right. So there you go. That's the interview for our winning on Wednesday segment of the morning show this morning. And uh, yeah, what else can I say? I mean, there's things out there that, you know, sometimes we go through life and we don't think that there's another way of doing things. And uh, Patty came in today and said, yes, you know what? There is, there are, there truly are um, other ways of doing things. And, uh, that's it. That's it. All right. And um, hey, all right. By request, we have some requests. Oh, by the way, if you're listening out there, here's, here's a deal. Okay. On some of the social media sites, when I'm broadcasting on social media, I can't play music, even though we are licensed 100% and we've, you know, we keep track of everything that we play and all the listeners that we have and everything like that. The bottom line is there's just some, like Facebook, if I start playing music on Facebook, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I think they're like lights start flashing in Facebook headquarters. They turn Eric off, you know, that type of thing. So there's certain things we can do and there's certain things that we cannot do. So uh, in this case, the first thing I have to do, guys, and I apologize for this, is I'm going to have to say goodbye to all of you out there on, let's say, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and, and everywhere else that we're broadcasting. If you want to listen to me uh, and you want to listen to the station, you can go to www.iradiousa.com. Okay, so we'll say goodbye. Boop. All right. We're stopping that stream. All right, we did that. We're still live on TikTok right now. And by request, because I got an email uh, the other day, and I kept promising I would do this, and I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so let me check the name. It's for Karen. Karen was asking for Zeppelin. 